Right, we're in uh, day three of this uh, 21 day prayer journey, which was uh, I received a an email from Cornerstone TV, and I I check out some of those ministers. I've followed them for years, and I thought, why not? The Bible says pray without ceasing, and what that really means is pray repetitively, make a habit of it, make an earnest effort to pray in every situation. So we're we're praying these first three days, our restoration of hope. And uh, day one, we focused on praying for our greater hope, which is in Christ. Yesterday, we talked about praying for confident belief in God's word. In other words, trusting that when, when he says, so is my word that goes out from my mouth, it will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose which I sent it. I mean, think about this. Uh, God said, let there be light. I mean, look at all of creation. He spoke it into existence. And, and yes, natural systems that he put in place brought everything into the way it is right now. But God said it, and that settled it. Today, what we're focusing on is as important as the destiny and purpose that we have for our lives here and the opportunity to glorify God in every aspect of our lives here. The Word of God says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, in verse 18, it says, While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. You know, every day we've had an action step. The first day was go take a walk in the park or in a trail, which is easy for me. Take a look. You see where I live. Um, and and just listen to God. Listen for God and as you're praying. And then the other day was kind of, you know, take notice of the the blooming flowers and the things that are around us. And, and, uh, and in the high desert, we have kind of a different, uh, set of seasons almost it feels like we have a first spring and a summer and a second spring it's just kind of weird uh, but today's action step praise god your spirit is eternal spend some time worshiping and enjoying god's presence thank him as you write in your journal for the gift of salvation and the eternal life to come I want to take just a few minutes right now and just praise him. Lord Jesus, thank you for who you are. Father, thank you for who you are. Holy Spirit, thank you for who you are. Thank you how you are one and how you are three is beyond our capacity to understand. But you are God. You alone are God. There are, there are so many things that we don't understand. And by, the, by your great grace, we're going to have an eternity to understand. And, and Lord, I believe what your word says, that the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy, but you've come that we might have life and that more abundantly. That means a rich and full life with purpose to fulfill the destiny that you have for all of us who are believers, to be disciples and to be disciple makers. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the privilege of being born again. We thank you that we could come Man, I had to come more than once. But thank you that we can come to you. I can come to you. And when I've sinned and when I'm convicted of sin, Lord, you you move me from that confession to that place of of grace. Thank you so much for your grace. Lord, I praise you right now for your great grace. Lord, I praise you in this moment for your wisdom. You said if we need wisdom, we could ask for it and you would give it to us. And you wouldn't make us you wouldn't belittle us for asking. Thank you, Father, for wisdom. And thank you, Father, for favor. Lord, it says in Psalm 90 verse 17, "Oh, that the favor of the Lord would rest upon us and establish the work of our hands for us." Yes, establish the work of our hands for us. Lord, Zechariah prayed out. I, I mean, Lord, I, I almost messed up, almost messed up the Bible, people. Therefore, Lord, but you know, you know where I was getting ready to go, and if I'm supposed to say it, you'll bring it back to my mind. Thank you for loving me so much. 
Thank you for your great grace. Thank you for your mercy. Jabez, that's who it was. Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from evil that I might not cause pain. And the word, your word says you granted him what he asked for. Lord, praise you that we can come before you. Praise you that your word says that if we ask anything according to your will, you hear us. And if we know that you hear us, whatever we ask, we can know that we have the petitions we've desired of you. If you don't believe it, look it up in the Bible, First John chapter 5. Your word says, hallelujah. Your word says, if any two of you agree as touching anything, it'll be done by their Father in heaven. Father, I thank you. Your word says that that if we would if we would at whatever we ask, it, we, it's like we could just say to that mountain, "Be removed and be cast into the sea," and it'd be done. But Lord, I want to take us back to our focal point today. All of these things that we're going through in our life right now, they're temporary. Praise you that we have an eternity with you, not by power, not by might, but by your Spirit praise you that we are with you for eternity. Lord, I thank you and praise you and love you. And Lord, I'm looking forward to day four tomorrow. Thank you, those of you who are praying. Uh, I want to ask you to please pray for my wife. Um, she has had a combination of, of, uh, of physical and emotional um, and mental health issues. And uh, she's in a, a, a deep struggle right now. So please pray for her. I also want to ask that you would pray for uh, our beloved sister Thandra in India and our our beloved brother Hope uh, in Pakistan and brother Kex. Oh, Father God, I just thank you so much for all of these. Thank you so much, Lord. I pray for brother Vincent in the walking church. Lord God, I'd, I'd, I'd ask that whatever the needs of those who are watching and listening right now, that you would reach out and touch them at the point of their greatest need and show out in their life. Show up. Do what you've done for me so many, many times. You're never late. Praise your holy name. Thank you for your great love for us. And thank you for this opportunity to talk to you and listen to you. We praise your name in Jesus' name. Talk to you on day number four.